Good afternoon, or morning, or whatever it is where you're watching this at this time. Um, I, like usual, like to wander around and think of stuff, and I think a lot about stuff. And as I think a lot about stuff, I have my new little journal where I write a bunch of things down. And one thing that came to mind was a weird inspiration that came for a new way of, well, it's not new, it's just, you know, screwing up what we already have. And I like to screw things up whenever it comes to cooking. Um, so I figured out a very interesting way how to make little bite-sized nibble thingies, whatever, if it's for a child or for, um, you know, an adult. The point is that, uh, what are those things called? Uh, hors d'oeuvres, hors d'oeuvres. Basically made my own way of making in less than, it's like 12, 15 minutes, I can make a bunch of hors d'oeuvres, uh, kind of, uh, Bachelor style, bachelor style hors d'oeuvres. I'll call them that way, and it's a really simple ingredients, which it came to mind, and I decided it's like you know what, let me make something out of it. All right, so very simple. So here are your basic ingredients. In the center we have our can of biscuits. Uh, flaky would be the best choice because they actually look pretty whenever they get cooked up. We're gonna use those. We're gonna manipulate them. Vienna sausages. Yeah, I know they're simple. They're quick. They're cheap. But at the same time, if I had those little weenie sausages, I would use those instead. Um, those little nice ones. But that's for some other time. Right now, this is just, you know, slapping something together that tastes really good. A tomato and some lettuce, if you actually own some. Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, your choice. And pickles. You can add cheese to it, but because I got lazy and I didn't have the cheese that I wanted, well, that's fine. I can live without it. So the first thing is we're going to be getting our nice little uh, biscuits here. We're going to get them out. We're going to then slice them up. And when I say slice them up, we're going to cut them in quarters. You cut them in quarters and you lay them on a pan. If you have, uh, if you don't have enough space or another pan, you know, do something interesting. Why? Because, well, who cares? I'm going to eat them anyways. And they're for me, mostly. If anybody else wants them, you can come around and visit. Another thing to it. Next thing after that is we're going to get the Vienna sausages. Now, the Vienna sausages, I'm just going to cut them down the middle and place them there. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of olive oil, and... Uh, some garlic powder right on top and as it's all in the oven as it's all in the oven it's going to be going uh whatever the can says i think it was like 400 degrees and probably it says eight to like 10 minutes i put it in for about eight seven eight minutes and with that time because they're much smaller they actually bake up a lot faster now these i baked up and it took about probably six seven minutes to make but then the vienna sausages and the other ones that look like little claws I put them on the broiler for two extra minutes, and they got all nice and awesome. The aroma of garlic was everywhere from the um, from the sausages. And while I was waiting for that to happen, I chopped up I chopped up uh, lettuce and tomato into usable slice pieces. Um, and so what happens is that uh, after I had all the sun, this was done in like eight minutes. So it's eight minutes of cooking. It's real fast. It's a preparation time. It took a little bit longer. But that was, you know, turn on the oven, chop everything up, put them in pans, put everything in, bake. Um, and then chop up lettuce and tomato. Uh, so, assembly-wise, whenever you get these little bad boys out of the oven, come here, you! Because of the flaky layer kind, they have these nice little grooves and texture, so they look like mini baguettes, you know, like little French rolls kind of deal. It's like, you know, they look nice, for one. But you know what? I'm going to give it a bit more character, so we add a bit of mayonnaise, slap some lettuce on top of that. Actually, let me do that. Let me just... Da -da -da. A little bit of mayonnaise on top. A little bit of lettuce. Now, this holds itself, but then we're going to start getting to the tall stuff. The tall stuff, you'll need a toothpick. Toothpick, pretty simple. You then start impaling everything else. Sausage. Yeah, come here. Pickle. Tomato. Come here, tomato. Yeah. And then place it on top. Done. That's it. That's how simple it is. And from there you have this this little itty bitty sausage thingy that has this wonderful aroma, smell, and flavor to it. On top of all of this, it's basically like a weird different way of making a BLT. You and the thing is, it does have quite, you know, most of the flavors, but it does still have the Vienna sausage flavor. You can change it out for whatever other type of things you want to do it. And it's so quick and easy, as I said. It only took me about total time, 10, 15 minutes total, to make all this. 
And yeah, you know, it's fun. Plus, at the same time, you can do this for your kids, if you have kids, or other people's kids, or whatever. Don't do it for other people's kids. That's creepy. Just, you know, ta-da, the hobos, or not hobos, the, what was I calling it? The bachelor's hors d'oeuvre dingy. Oh, yeah, they're good. They're delicious. They're, you can get it all in two bites. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Make something. Screw it up. And enjoy it. See ya.